I had a dream a few weeks ago. It's probably been about a month ago now. And I have been wanting to get on here and um, share it with everybody. Because I feel like it's important. It's not just for me. I have dreams and visions sometimes. And just get revelation on things. And, and I think many believers do. And I have intentions of getting on, you know, and sharing. But I don't do a very good job at it. And I want to... I want to get better at it because I, like I said, I know these dreams are not just for me. They're not meant just for me or for me to share with only my family. I'm supposed to be sharing these with the world. This is anytime somebody has a dream or a vision or gets revelation on something, most times you are supposed to share it. Of course, take it to the Holy Spirit and pray about it and find out why he shared this stuff with you. But chances are it's, it's to it's it's to share it with other people so anyway I want to do that so let's just get on with it um, anyways I dreamed about the rapture and you know I've studied the end times um, just different books of the Bible um, if there is like an end an end time or a rapture movie you can bet I've seen it I just really enjoy it I mean I know it's not always um, it doesn't always line up with the word it's pretty close I mean as much as we can understand but anyway um so anyway I've really been into that and I feel like it's just because God has pulled me to that to you know just really zoom in on that and um but I've been doing that for probably the last five years and I'm just saying that just to point out that I have even having been so involved and just really studying it for the last five years I have never dreamed about the rapture not ever. I could have watched two or three movies about after the rapture and everything like that in one day and I would never dream about it. And anyway, so I ended up having a dream. And in this dream, I was standing on a hill and I didn't see God, but I knew his presence was right beside me. He was right to the left of me. And he, his presence was so close that had I moved to my left or had he moved to his right, we would have been one. And I think that's significant. So we're standing on the hill and we're looking down and we're not speaking, but he's showing me. And we're looking down over the city. And the more, t the more uh, centered in the city, that when you look down at the city, or towards the area, the middle area, there was little flecks of light. Not, all, not very much at all. There may be in the form of like a couple of street lamps or maybe a few lights in these tall buildings. And, but it was dark. Everything was dark except these little flecks of light. And this, this light wasn't giving off a ton of light. Um, the city was dark. You could make out the shadows of the buildings enough to see that they were, you were looking at a city but the further away you got from the center, it was completely dark. And so as I'm standing there looking down at this, suddenly, just, just like that, the rapture happened. Like the church was just raptured out. Well, I woke up the next day and um, when I once I had remembered that I had this dream, my first question that I took in prayer to God was, God, was this me? Was this my mind? Or did you give this to me? Because I don't want to take it anywhere if this was my own mind. But if you gave this to me, show me. Well, over the course of, I don't know, it was three, four, five days. As I continued to talk to God about it and think on it and all of that, I just got bits and pieces of revelation on it. And so, and I know that maybe even now I don't even have all of the revelation of it, but I will share what I have at this point and things that stood out to me, things I noticed. So as I'm standing on the hill with God, we were so close. And I know that that, that myself in the dream, I believe, and then the light, I believe that that was a representation of the church, the body of Christ. And he was showing me all of these things. And we were so, so close. I know that represented the walk our relationship and our walk and what we spend in prayer and how much we're reading the word 
that ha that represented the relationship with God. That's how close we've got to be in our relationship with him. I noticed that we were on a hill and we were looking down. And that hill, I mean, we were we were at a higher elevation than what we were looking down on. I mean, everything around us was dark, but when I'm standing there next to him, I was in complete peace. There was no fear. Even though as I looked down and I saw mostly dark, 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 I knew that represented evil. I knew that represented darkness and the evil going on in the world. And I knew that the light was exactly, it was, you know, the good, the little bit of good that was left. And so as he's showing this to me and I'm looking down on that, it was so dark and evil, but the church was raptured out just like that. Um, one of the revelations that I believe that I had got during that, during just, like I said, over the course of a week was, I mean, I know many believers believe that we'll live through the tribulation. I personally don't believe that and we don't need to argue about that. Um, but what stood out to me was the fact that it was so very, very dark that I believe that the revelation God gave me, what, what I believe um, he was saying was, Pam, it's going to be so dark that you're going to question, not just me, but the church that's waiting for the rapture, that's looking for his coming for us. It's going to be so dark during that time that you're going to you're going to start to question, are we sure we're not living through the tribulation? It's going to be that dark. But I want to point out, you stay that close to him because that was very significant. You stay close to him, you'll have no fear. You can be in complete peace no matter how dark it gets. No matter how dark it gets, you can have complete peace. Just stay close to him. And I believe that he gave this dream to share with all of you because I believe we're right there. I believe it's, he's coming for us. And I believe it's any day. So anyway, if you can, um, and, and I've spoke to, you know, my pastor about this and everything. And, and when I had got to the part where I said, just like that, the church was raptured out. The immediate scripture that came to his mind was in the twinkling of an eye. And I think that is, it's, I know it's in second Corinthians. It might be 1551 or 551. Anyway, something like that. I'm sorry. I didn't look it up. I just knew that I needed to get this video done because it's been a month and I hadn't shared it yet. And so anyway, you can look it up um, and find that scripture. But anyway, keep your walk close to God because you're going to have to remain close to him because times are, it's, it's getting darker out there. And I don't believe that's going to get any better. It's not. I mean, it doesn't have to touch us at all. It might come close, but it doesn't have to touch us if our walk is, if we're in God like we're supposed to be. So 